Hello, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist for Ohio State University Extension. Today I'd like to do a brief lesson on how to measure a tree diameter with a Biltmore stick. The Biltmore stick on a cruiser stick is that scale that has zero on one end and then it has graduations, usually at two inch intervals along the stick. Um, many of you have made your own stick and we'll talk more about that later. But why would we measure the diameter of a tree? Why is that necessary? Well, as foresters, diameter is a really critical measurement to help us determine management options, determine how crowded the forest is, if it needs any activity. If we're going to do a timber harvest, we need to estimate the volume of wood in this tree. Trees are essentially tape cylinders that taper. They get smaller as we go up. So with a cylinder to get its volume, we would need the diameter and the length of that cylinder. So what is the diameter? It's that measurement from one side of the tree to the other side across the tree. If the tree were cut down, it's the circle, it would be through the center of the circle from widest point to widest point. Well, that'd be a pretty simple measurement. You just lay a yardstick across there and measure in inches. Problem is, this tree is still standing. So we want to be able to measure that tree without cutting it down. So the way we would do that is use our Biltmore stick. Before we get started, the first thing you need to know is that the standard for measurement of diameter in forestry is four and a half feet above the ground or breast height. You'll see the term DBH, which means diameter at breast height. That's four and a half feet, four feet, six inches above the ground. For me, four and a half feet on my body is right at my collarbone, so it's pretty easy to remember where that is. What I'd recommend for you is to cut a stick that's four and a half feet above the ground and carry it with you for the first few times that you measure a tree. You lay the stick against the tree and then you know where four and a half feet is above the ground. The other thing you need to know is that we typically measure diameter at breast height on the uphill side of the tree. If we were to measure it from the downhill side, we'd be measuring it much lower and it would overestimate the diameter of the tree. So we want to get in the habit of approaching the tree from the uphill side, determining where four and a half feet is above the ground. And that's the level that we need to measure the diameter of that tree at. So the next step is you're going to take your Biltmore stick and you're going to lay the stick on the tree at four and a half feet above the ground. For today I'm going to assume your arm reach is 25 inches so every time I say 25 inches keep in mind if you've made a custom stick that has a different arm reach you're going to use that length. But for this stick which is 25 inches the stick needs to be against the tree. We want to make sure we're at the right height. We're going to line our line of sight the edge of the stick and the widest portion of the tree in a straight line. So we're going to zero the stick out by just adjusting the stick one way or the other so that it lines up with the widest portion of the tree. The other critical thing is to make sure that the stick is perpendicular to your line of sight when you're looking straight at the center of the tree. So again, line the stick up, the zero in, the widest portion of your tree and your eye should all be in a line. And then without turning your head, keeping the stick at 25 inches from your eye, you're going to look sideways. And when I do, I get about 24 inches, just slightly under 24 inches in diameter. Remember, trees aren't necessarily round in cross sections, so it never hurts to go at 180 degrees. You want to stay at the same height. Line up your line of sight, your eye, the stick, and the widest portion of the tree. Without turning your head, you want to look sideways and I get right at 24 inches this way. So this tree is right about 24 inches in diameter. And we'll use that number later to determine the volume of this tree. Here's a close view of what it looks like when you're measuring a tree with a Biltmore stick. Remember the stick should be four and a half feet above the ground and your arm reach, whatever the arm reach is on the stick, in this case, 25 inches, it needs to be perpendicular with your line of sight. And then what we wanna do is line up Keep your head straight and line up the left edge of the stick with the widest portion of the tree. Something like that. And then we just look down the other side of the stick and with our line of sight, line up the widest portion of the tree, the stick, and your eye. And wherever that line of sight crosses with the edge of the tree, that's the measurement of the tree. In this case, 24 inches DBH.